Hi folks, this is all the fruit and here I have one of the most unique orange varieties ever. The navel chocolate orange. It's called chocolate because of this brownish olive green color of the skin. Except that this one and most of the oranges I saw in the shop had a small orange stripe on it. Well, we all know that oranges, that the greenish or yellowish or pale or dark color is nothing unusual for oranges. But this color, which almost, which almost uh, turns into brown, is something special. And this is not some tropical orange, which did not get any frost or anything. Nope. This one was not even developed. It was found in southern Spain. Yeah. Oh, Spanish people, well, here you have some original Spanish people from the Canary Islands. No, actually, some Canary people from the Canary Islands. They don't like to be called Spanish. But this comes from continental Spain, from peninsular Spain. Well, yeah, around the headquarters of some orange breeding company, somebody noticed a couple strange brown fruit on a navel orange tree. The funny thing is that all the other fruit were of normal orange color. So the branches with the with the brownish oranges were grafted since the fruit were quite tasty and of unique color and so a new variety was created. So it sounds like a somatic mutation, a tree where a branch developed some mutation, not through recombination, not through the sexual process, uh, not through hybridization with other varieties or species, but simply through a somatic mutation in a branch, in a bud of a... Oh, those, those people are, are really a bit loud. Anyways, well, um, it got created um, through a somatic mutation, Probably millions of interesting new fruit varieties are being created that way uh, every year, but usually nobody r recognizes them or values them enough and they disappear with the one tree which um, dies after a couple years. In this case, however, it was discovered, it was crafted on other oranges and the new variety was created. Well, like with every new variety, and this is a very expensive one, I think the kilogram was what, about 10 euros or so, incredibly expensive. Oranges here usually cost 1 euro, 1 euro something, often even below 1 euro a kilo. You see what a new color can, can give you, an orange you can sell for 10 times the price. Well, online they say a lot of good things about this orange, it's supposed to be very sweet with just a little sourness, very juicy, um, can be stored for a long time. Even the trees being praised as being a compact, vigorous tree. So basically, why shouldn't every orange grower have those trees on his plantation? And why shouldn't every orange enjoyer buy those fruits all the time? Well, because of the price tag. But still, for you, I bought one. And now, since I started the video with the whole fruit, I'm gonna try to cut it here on my knees. Let's hope I don't cut my knees. Well, seems to be ripe. It's quite easy to cut. Seems to be juicy. Lots of juice coming out. Well, the inside is colored quite normally, like a normal orange. Okay, now how shall I eat this? Oh, and a lot of people are observing me. I seem to be very popular today. Well, well, it's definitely soft and ripe and juicy. Now let's try the taste. A good orange, but not too sweet. I would say the best thing about it is its juiciness. Not too sour, this is true, but also not too sweet. I don't know why it's not too sweet. It's supposed to be very sweet, and I would say this one is definitely ripe. Well, since it's uh, navel or navel orange, 
here you can see the second small orange, the second small set of carpels set inside the bigger ones. Hmm. I don't know folks, it's not a bad orange. I mean I've eaten oranges which were very sweet and very sour. I've made juice of oranges which were so sweet and so sour, I had to dilute it with mild grapefruit juice. This one is not an extremely sweet orange. Neither is it an extremely aromatic orange. Yeah, it is an extremely juicy orange, so I can totally recommend it for juice, but not at that price tag, folks. If it costs as much as the normal oranges, I would buy it, because it's a nice big juicy orange, but it's definitely not as sweet as advertised. Well, anyway, it was still worth a try. Yeah, nice, nice chocolate orange here on the beautiful island of Tenerife, on the Canary Islands. If you want to see more fruit videos from the Canary Islands, check out my Canary Islands playlist with over 600 fruit videos. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful Canary Islands. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.